flyers and banners. How to design flyers and banners. Now the difference between banner and a flyer is just um, the texture of materials being used. So there are e-flyers, which is flyers used online, and then, then there are banners, ones printed and so on. So usually the difference is um, the texture. The flyers are, are made with paper kind of prints, and then banners are made with um, flex kind of prints. And then um, also the difference is the utility. Usually banners are placed on standby while flyers are distributed around. So we'll be showing you how to make flyer designs and banner designs. So we'll be using we'll be going with this sample. This will be the sample. How do we make such a flyer design as this? So this will be like a sample we're trying to make. So now when you kick off to design the flyer, you have to determine the shape you want to uh, make it look like. Or you, you have to determine the shape you want your design to assume. Now the shape will determine um, how you place every other element and so on. And then for you to determine your shape, you need to know where you're using it. What, what, what purpose it should serve. If you want a design, a flyer design for online purpose, the best uh, kind of size for an online flyer would be square. Because with a square size, you can upload on Instagram. You can upload on Instagram. And then you can also upload on Facebook, Twitter, and so on. So the type of the, the place or platform you're supposed to use the design will determine the size you use. But if you have to print, you have to determine the size too. The usual flyer, you have flyers of A6, A5, A4, and so on, A3, and so on. So, so what size are we making use of here? I'm making use of a square size. A square size. Remember, squares are um the two sides are equal. So you have the width and the height. They're equal, so that makes a square. So let's kick off. How do we make flyer designs? Okay, these are brown color, lemon green. And then we we'll have to bring in the image of the woman or the lady holding a bag. Remember, this is what we are working with. Now the image has been downloaded already. The image has been downloaded already. Remember, before designing anything or even a flyer design, you have to determine your message. What are you trying to push out? What are you trying to communicate? So here we are trying to communicate, communicate our graphic design packages which you could purchase so the image used is a lady holding bags so it was downloaded and then it came with a background picture but it was cropped so here is the cropped picture here is it the cropped picture has no background so I'm making use of it remember the beauty of design is alignment the beauty of design is alignment so here is she now what's the headline remember <coughs> one of the principles of graphic design is to project the most important and what's the most important on, on a flyer design is usually the headline so brand more peerless this is it this is the most important um, stuff you're trying to communicate, brand more payless. So, here's it brand more payless, brand more payless. So, what's the subtitle or sub headline? Project what you do and increase patronage of a graphic design package. I rather use a separate font. Different type of font for this. Then 
point that you have to project the most important elements which is usually the headline and the flyer so how do we create this this um, shadow here covering her how do you create the shadow watch, 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 watch. so let's create this white this watch what i'm doing and how do you create that shadow watch what's in shape go down check for stroke blow it then you can choose any color you want so i'm choosing a work with the one I've created a shadow for myself in case it's here you have a shadow covering her sent to the back, sent to the back. Here you have it. So you can play this to know how the shadow was created. Now our packages. try this black this seems better with, with black whichever you can use whichever now how how do you create a background for this data package right up you just check background here you create a background so Just the same thing, you add your logo and then write up as simple as this. As simple as this, you created your flyer design. Now, does this look easy? Yes, it does. So, remember, project what you project what you do, rather, project the most important element on your design, which is the brand more payless. There will be sub headline project what to do and increase patronage of graphic design packages remember usually flyers whenever you're doing flyer designs there's usually a call to action is that you're getting somebody to make purchase is that you're getting somebody to attend an event is that you're just advertising so whatever it is the flyer usually has a call to action here for the call to action here you have to send a whatsapp message or call now for, for others it might be visit our web websites or this might be join our service today and so on so remember you have to work with your sizes and then once you're done with your design you come here and see remember you have different dimension you have defaults custom low medium high very high ultra these are your resolution usually we work with ultra it has the highest resolution it has the highest resolution so if i view what's if i view what was designed is it view so bright so bright so it's quite easy it's quite easy it's simply applying the graphic tools you have here on pixel lab and then working with your graphic principles graphic design principles so it's that easy remember alignment is really key the beauty of this design is because of the alignment everything follows a particular pattern and so on so um, one of the ways to have an outstanding flyer design one of the ways to have an outstanding flyer design is to work with shouty colors 
because human attention span has reduced so people that come online and scroll through their facebook or instagram they tend to stop at your designs again they tend to pay attention more to your designs if your designs are shouting enough to attract them and not just shouting mature sure too while it's been shouting so work with colors that intrigue work with colors that that catch the eyes so the, the essence for flyer designs is to help communicate an offer a service a product a message so with this you've gotten your flyer design now for banner design when it comes to designing there's no more difference between banner and flyer design simply work with your sizes banner designs are usually larger in size than flyer designs so you work with feet and so on so the only difference there is like i said is in printing it's in printing so you have you have to adjust the shape or the size make sure you're working with the, with the size and then while you're designing always create space create spaces at the edge create spaces at the edge so that once it's been printed out if it needs to be cut if it needs to be cut you will have space to cut so so when they cut they don't have to cut out your details so create space at the edge you can see i created space here i created space here i created space here i'm creating space here you see so create spaces so it can be cut the way you design a flyer is the same way you design a banner so you remember you have flyers you have online flyers to use you have flyers you use for your social media page for your facebook cover art and then remember this side of pixel you can actually um, choose you can actually choose from here image size you can actually choose um, different sizes you have square you have profile picture which is this square you have youtube channel the channel banner you have youtube thumbnail you have facebook cover ads you have google plus cover photo twitter header size all of them have different sizes for example facebook cover ads this is your facebook cover ads if you design with this and place at the back of your facebook tp all of the design will be seen but if you have, if you work with a square size and place it at the back of your facebook tp some things will be cut so work with your sizes remember more of your designs will be attractive and excellent if you work with your principles and your tools and your tools remember creativity is at its peak when you have a con when you have when you have a concept that you've drawn from someone and then apply the tools plus the graphic design principles so you can go ahead and design any flyer so the same way you design a flyer is the same way you design a banner remember give spaces while designing give space while designing so you can cut effectively and so your content does not it's not being cut so i believe with this you can make any flyer design of your choice and then when it comes to shape when it comes to shape you can import shape like i said and then you can also work with this mask you know it, it takes it takes consistent practice to know how to master this mask at first we do not use this mask to, de to design we just run away from it but we we have to use it you know so every day we learn so you can create a funny shape you want to like this i've created a shape already as the shape I can work with this, can you see? Okay, so the more you practice, the more you get acquainted with the tools. Thank you.